Hey all. Uh, so between last episode and this episode on my door project, I have done a lot of work on it. And it's actually lost some functionality, and I'll show you why in a second. Hint, it's using a Raspberry Pi now. Let's go take a look. So, uh, yeah, it still has the motion detector and, of course, the cool color fade function. So as we walk by, it goes white. And if it doesn't detect motion for a little bit, it goes back to color. Uh, it has lost the people touch. I'll be adding that soon, though. So no worries there. Let's go take a look on the other side. All right, so here we have the other side. And yeah, this probably looks quite a bit different than it did before. Uh, and more complicated. And indeed, it is more complicated, but it's also a lot more powerful. And I'll go over real quick what everything here does. So. The main brains behind everything is the Raspberry Pi, right here. That's sort of what I've built this around. Then there's also an Arduino, which was necessary for some more GPIO. I'll talk about that in a moment, why that was necessary. Uh, then this ribbon cable's coming over here to this breadboard, and it just connects the, the pins from the Raspberry Pi up to the breadboard. Then this is just uh, connecting the grounds together you want common grounds. Then, then down here, there is a 433 megahertz uh, transmitter. And I'll, again, I'll go into that in a second. Um, this, st this stuff here, we can ignore this. Uh, I'll be using that more in the future. It's a level shifter. I'm not going to talk about that. This is a breadboard uh, power supply. And that is kind of shown off in one of my, my, my latest post bag episode. You can go ahead and watch that if you want to see some more about that. Then over here, the Arduino, which again, doing GPIO. So there is three of these wires are going to the motion detector for power and ground. And then this blue one up here is for the uh, signal line that's being detected by the Arduino. Then these three wires that come up here are going to, can you see this? Uh, you can't. Let's just move this over. And I'll point it up a little bit for you. You can hear someone coughing outside. No worries there. So here we have this little circuit that I designed. This is actually the first revision of it. I did a second revision and I made a video all about that and I'll go ahead and link to that as well. And this circuit is basically just a controller for RGB LED strips. So it takes the PWM signal from the Arduino and outputs it to the LED strip. This is the power line that goes to the LED strip on the other side of the door. And power in right here, just have a smoothing capacitor there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty straightforward. It's basically just some MOSFETs to control the LED strip. Now, the reason that's kind of all flapping in the breeze here is because this was the first revision and it did not have screw holes. And like I said, I've done a second revision. It has screw holes. It's coming in the mail. And once I do that, I'll mount that right on here to kind of tidy it up. Now, going back to this 433 megahertz transmitter, this guy is controlling the home automation system that I've sort of designed in our dorm room here. And that's based around 433 megahertz, uh, those remote controlled outlets that you get at the hardware store, basically. And I'll do another video on that soon. Uh, this is a temporary thing. Eventually, this is going to be on a separate Arduino somewhere else in the room. It doesn't need to be part of the whole door thing. But I have it here for now just to kind of, uh, just because I had this set up and it was easy to do. Now, the reason that I have the Arduino. Oh, you can't see that. The reason that you have the Arduino, instead of just using the GPIO from the Pi, is that the Pi only has like two PWM outputs, and I need three. I need one for each channel. And the Arduino, fortunately, has plenty of those. So the, Ar the Raspberry Pi is communicating with the Arduino over a serial connection, and it's telling it what, what power to put to each of the, the three colors for the LED strip. And when I originally had it connected right up to the Raspberry Pi, it was very flickery. So 
just a few simple changes in the code, and now it's sending those signals over serial to the Arduino. And I'm using a fantastic library called Johnny5 to do all that. I'll, I'll throw a link to that in the, in the description as well. Maybe I'll do a video looking at the code if there's any demand for that, since it's pretty cool. It was like just a couple lines of code change to have it uh, use the Arduino instead of using the built-in GPIO on the Pi. Very simple change. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, real quick, I'll go ahead and show you the home automation system. This is kind of just a teaser. I'm going to do a bit better video on this in the future. But uh, let's, yeah, I hope hopefully you can see this. I'm going to push this, and that turned off the lights in the room. Yeah, you can kind of see in the background it gets darker and brighter, specifically uh, this one. And yeah, so that's that's all controlled based with this thing. And again, everything's running on the Raspberry Pi. This is this app is Home Assistant, which the server for is running on the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi has really been a great addition, and I'm looking forward to building out more home automation stuff all around the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I just wanted to show you this real quick before I end the video. Uh, here's the lights on the ceiling in my room here. And yeah, here's the app that I can use to control them. So if I go ahead and do that, can turn that one on. Window ceiling light, there you go. I'll turn them both off, both on. So there's one more light that you can't see, my desk lamp, but you're gonna have to take my word for that. And I just wanted to include that in this video because I think this is a really cool way of doing home automation. It's pretty cheap. And I'll be doing more videos on that soon, which will also hopefully make them pretty easy for you to do if you want to do this in your home. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see those. They're coming down the pipeline. And drop a like down below if you like this video. And go ahead and comment with your thoughts. Thank you for watching.